Rated Teen. Hi, I'm Mike Marr, lead designer for Demigod, an RTS RPG from the team here at Gas Powered Games. We've given some technology demonstrations in the past, but today we wanted to put something different together for people who are just now seeing Demigod for the first time. In this game, you control one of eight different demigods. In this case, I've chosen the Rook. He's the guy you'll see on the cover of the game. The Rook is an example of an assassin demigod. Even though there are buildings and reinforcements scattered through the arena, as an assassin character, I don't directly control any of that. They're just obstacles or objectives towards my goal. The other type of demigod is the General. The General will allow you to create a personal army and plays a lot more like an RTS. My controls are the mouse and the mouse buttons. I can right-click on the ground to move, right-click on a target to attack, and when I activate special abilities, I left-click to choose a target. I can play with the hotkeys, but for purposes of this demo, I'll be using the in-game UI to issue commands. On the bottom here, you can see my health in orange, and my mana in blue. Up here is a mini-map that keeps track of the game at a glance, and this over here lets me see the status of primary objectives for this game mode. The game mode I am currently playing is called Conquest, which you can think of as a bit like chess. My objective is this structure here, deep behind enemy lines, called the Citadel. If my team destroys the enemy Citadel, I win. If my team is destroyed, we lose. Now how we go about fighting and destroying those Citadels is what Demigod is all about. If my Demigod should die, he will respawn back at the base after a short period of time. Most Demigods can be customized to fight enemy Demigods, if the player chooses. There are two sides to every arena. And depending on the game setup, you may be going it alone against the enemy hordes, or you may be teaming up with other players or AI to defeat the other side. Let's go ahead and advance the game here so I can discuss advancement and objectives. So here I am, about 15 minutes into the game. And through the course of fighting and capturing objectives, I've gained several levels and some skill points that I can use to customize my demigod, just like you would in an RPG. Another way that I have advanced in the game is by earning gold from scoring kills, killing reinforcements, and controlling mines. I can spend that gold at shops to purchase equipment for my character, again, just like you would in an RPG. Another way to spend gold is to upgrade my Citadel, which is a bit like a technology tree from a real-time strategy game, except that this is shared between all players on one side. For this game, I decided to invest in my team's Citadel. You can see that there are several more types of reinforcements now. This structure here is called a portal. Portals are the source of new units that enter the arena. These units are called reinforcements. I don't control these little guys, but they always move in regular paths toward the enemy and try their best to knock down enemy defenses and kill enemy reinforcements. And they are a great source of experience and gold. Some of the objectives are capturable, like this portal here. You can see the flag that controls it right here. To capture it, just stand near the flag unopposed for a short time. Some of these portals will change hands many times during a battle, and especially late in the game, they can mean the difference between victory and defeat. This object is a Tower of Darkness, which is one of the many different kinds of static defenses that protect the enemy Citadel. I usually need to knock down a lot of defenses like this to pave a way for my reinforcements. Some demigods, like the Rook I'm playing here, can be specialized to be anti-defense specialists. Let's go ahead and advance the game a little here and see how this plays out. Here I am about 30 minutes into the game. For this game, I focused on the Rook's skills related to anti-structure and my opponent appears to have chosen anti-reinforcement. Although I have cleared a few paths towards the enemy citadel, he is keeping my troops at bay and racking up a lot of experience in the process. Now, I've bought a few pieces of defensive equipment with my gold, but I've chosen to spend quite a bit of it on my citadel upgrades. As a result, my defensive towers hit a lot harder, my reinforcements are tougher, and there are more types of reinforcements, like priests and angels, coming through my portals. The enemy demigod is a few levels higher than I am, and as a result, he's hitting pretty hard, and I'm having to rely on my reinforcements to really overwhelm him here. Now currently, I'm working to keep my opponent at bay while protecting my own reinforcements. At this point, I have made several pushes into the enemy base, but each time I've been repulsed. Ha <laughs> ha! There we've got it. Now, where do we go from here? Well, depending on the game mode I was playing, I've accumulated some favor points and I can apply those towards purchasing long-term achievements that I can use in future games. If I was playing the persistent online tournament called the Pantheon, I would have also contributed points to the team I was fighting for. In addition to the Pantheon, there is also a tournament in single player that let me play one demigod all the way through a series of battles to try and win Final Ascension and become a god. 
So this has been a quick look at the basics of Demigod. I hope this explains what you'll be seeing in the coming months. We here at Gas Powered Games are very proud of Demigod, and I hope this has piqued your interest enough to check it out when the game releases next month. Thanks for listening.